Pakistan's military government is prolonging Imran Khan's isolation while continuing to deny him access to his family and lawyers. The military's Punjab government extended the ban on meetings inside a Diala jail indefinitely, according to local media reports. Imran Khan's legal team, physician and family have not yet met him since October 4th. The former Prime Minister revealed in a brief meeting with his party members last weekend that he has been kept in a cell without electricity and given unhygienic food, which caused his health to deteriorate. Mr. Khan has also been denied meetings with his wife, Busha Bibi, who has been jailed inside Adyala for 266 days. The 26th constitutional amendment was passed by Pakistan's parliament in the darkness of the night, in what many are terming a dark day for democracy. The military government, which was formed through forged election documents, coerced members of opposition parties into voting for the amendment, which now empowers the parliament to appoint the country's top judge. The amendment says the Supreme Court's Chief Justice will now be selected by a parliamentary committee and have a fixed term of three years. Imran Khan's party, the PTI, slammed the amendment. Quote, these amendments are akin to suffocating a free judiciary. They do not represent the people of Pakistan, unquote, said PTI's Umar Ayub Khan, leader of the opposition party in the National Assembly. Quote, a government formed through rigging cannot amend the constitution, unquote. The United Nations has said the amendment could harm judicial independence and individuals' right to fair hearings. The sisters of Imran Khan are continuing to be held illegally in frivolous cases by Pakistan's military regime. Alima Khan and Dr. Uzma Khan have been held since October 5th when they were arrested while protesting peacefully in Islamabad. The bail hearing was conspicuously suspended on Saturday as the judge in the case decided to go on leave. Alima Khan and Dr. Uzma Khan were instrumental in getting Imran Khan's uncensored message out to his party supporters after meetings inside Adyala jail. After the year-long bombardment of Gaza by Israeli occupational forces, toxic gas is now being used to ethnically cleanse Palestinians. Several Palestinian farmers and international activists were attacked with toxic gas by Israeli forces and settlers while picking olives in the occupied West Bank. The director of the Colonization and Wall Resistance Commission, Murad Shatiwi, told the Wafa News Agency that Israeli forces and settlers fired live rounds and gas canisters towards those harvesting olives. Dozens of people suffered suffocation-like symptoms from the gas, Shitivi added. This year's olives harvest season is experiencing repeated attacks by settlers and Israeli troops, including burning and cutting down olive trees and preventing farmers from reaching their land. Israeli occupational forces have killed over 42,000 Palestinians since October of 2023.